Hey guys, so um, I've just arrived home. It's the same day that I went um, out to see a friend in, in Long Beach, which is very far away. I'm proud of myself because I went out and I drove all the way there and I drove all the way back, which was big. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I thought I would vlog specifically to talk about sleep. So recently I've been going through a medication change etc etc and my nights have been getting extremely extremely bad um when i'm coming off of a medicine so i'm having a lot of side effects from that physical ones which when you have anxiety and you have physical symptoms like even though you know that they're not life-threatening like doctors say they're not life-threatening and they're gonna go away once like the medicine leaves your system and etc etc like your body's still like, um, hello? Did you not just feel what happened to me? Like, it doesn't, your body's still like, um, hello here, we're not, we're not doing so great. So, you know, some of the things are quite painful and quite sudden and shocking to experience. Um, kind of like electrical spasms, they're, they're unpleasant. And, um, they're called zaps, but anyways, um, they're really unpleasant. <laughs> And they're scary and they're terrifying and even though like I know they're not life-threatening I know that in my head my body it happens and your body's like what the hell just happened to me so it's kind of, you kind of have to calm yourself back down and then your body's literally telling you like um no no listen listen lady did you not just realize what just happened okay we're not okay so it's a really hard kind of balance to like juggle or balance like it's just hard when your like body is like you know it is convinced it's like it's like if you like when you stub your toe when you stub your toe really bad and it feels like it's broken your body's like oh my gosh we just stubbed our toe hello i'm in pain check me out and like you look down you look at it and you've just stubbed it and there's nothing wrong your toe's not broken you're fine but like the pain keeps going and your is your body being like no really something really bad happened to my toe and there's nothing wrong with it um it's kind of like that like when pain just continues past a point that it really needs to so like there's just panic and messages going through your head that like don't really need to be there um anyways you can see my i'm fine i didn't like get like a million shots i'm just trying to make a habit of putting um some band-aids on so i don't pick the spots and they can heal um anyways yeah so that's just kind of like what i've been going through recently and it's getting to the point where I can't sleep um, because my nightmares are getting so bad and they're getting combined with these physical symptoms. So I get jolted awake, in pain, heart racing, terrified from the nightmare, terrified from my body, and I'm just really having a hard time. Um, so like, it's hard, but like, you know, some things are a plus from this transition. Um, some things are a big plus, but some things are not a big plus. So yeah, it can be really hard to deal with. Um, especially like with all the emotional stuff going on in my life. And it's just like, oh, it's not, it's not a great time. But um, yeah, so like sleep can be really hard. So now I'm at this point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to sleep. Like I'll just wait till the daytime, which like in the past has worked for certain things. like. Like if you're having nightmares or anxiety because of the nighttime where you feel alone or you feel unsafe, waiting for the day to come and like the sun lights out and your bedroom's warm and bright and sunny and cheery, that does help some, right? And you can sleep and you sleep better. So you end up sleeping um, during the day and freaking out at night, but not sleeping and it's a bit better. But with this, like that's not really the case and I know it because I was so tired this morning I literally got woken up about 20 times. I'm not kidding you. I got woken up so many times and I honestly thought it must have been 4 a.m. I was like, oh my gosh, it must be like 4 or 5. And it was only 2.10. And I remember just like crying last night because it was just like, it's only 2.10 and I've been woken up like eight times by that point. And then I continued to be woken up. And then I was so tired at 8 a.m., but between 8 and 11, I didn't get out of bed until about 11. Between 8 and 11, I got woken up three, four times. Pain, terror, uh, nightmares. Like, the daytime did not comfort me. So, because it's not really anxiety, it's not really outside if 
the, um, it's not really being driven by outside factors. It's being driven by my body and my withdrawal from this medicine and it's being triggered by inside stuff. So the sun really isn't comforting. Um, while everything is inside, everything's going on in your head, which is in your brain, um, which is your brain inside your head. Um, but like, does that make sense? Like, it's not really like, oh, I'm anxious because it's dark out. <laughs> like, it's like, no, I'm anxious because like, my chemical makeup is changing. So anyways, um, yeah, so I don't want to sleep. I'm scared of sleeping. I don't want to do it, but it's not like if I stay awake and fall asleep when the sun rises at five, it'll be better. I'll just like experience it at 5 a.m. I'll probably experience it even um, more severely because I'll be extremely, extremely tired and my brain will be, you know, deficient. It'll be exhausted. So anyways, I'm jabbering. You can tell I'm anxious because um, it's like nine and it's time to like start getting ready to go to bed and I'm like I don't really feel like doing that tonight guys like, let's just not do that let's skip that um and it makes me like I have all this nervous energy so I'm like oh well I'll just like um I'll just uh, I'll just clean I'll just do something like that which like that's not that's not that's not healthy like staying pulling an all-nighter like um doing things because you're anxious and nervous and terrified to sleep isn't good but It's a bit like, I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I just will. Maybe I won't be able to calm down. Which, if that's the case, then that's the case. But ideally, I will. But it's sort of like deciding to punish myself, if that makes sense. Like, it feels like deciding to go to sleep is like deciding to be in pain. <laughs> like, because I haven't had the issues. <laughs> Hi, cat. I haven't had so much of the issues being awake. It's just being sleeping and I think that's because like my my mental guards down my brain is asleep certain things are shut down and not kind of on point and alert and attentive and so the other like the side effects aren't being managed and they just they come out um, plus the nightmares cause anxiety and panic which will then trigger um, the side effects are like oh so anyways um, what was I saying with that oh yeah I feel like I'm punishing myself I feel like by choosing to go to bed, I'm choosing to be in pain and I'm choosing to be uncomfortable. And I see the doctor tomorrow, so I have two appointments, so I'm kind of like, oh, well, I'm choosing to like go to sleep, whereas I could just pull an all-nighter and just see the doctor tomorrow, but that's not really what's happening, but it's really confusing. It's just confusing. Mm. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. Um, but yeah, so it can be really confusing. Um, so, and I, I don't know if anyone else ever feels that way, like they feel like they're punishing themselves by putting them to sleep and doing the right thing and getting rest because their rest can be so upsetting. Um, but I know how that feels. So if you feel that way, I know how that feels. And if you're not quite sure why people are afraid of going to sleep, this is part of the reasons. Like sometimes it's terrifying, sometimes it's painful, sometimes it's both, and sometimes it just feels like they're punishing themselves. And we're supposed to be living healthier lifestyles and working on self-love and self-improvement and self-understanding, and we're like self-punishing. So it can be a bit confusing and a bit hard to understand and do. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to choose. I'm not even sure what I'm going to choose to do tonight. So, Ugh, I don't even know. But I do know that it's the end of the day and I'm hungry. <laughs> I had like, I nibbled and I was with a friend and I think they eat dinner late, like normally standard they eat late. Whereas I'm like a, like a 5.30 person. My whole family has been like, we eat at 5.30 every day, <laughs> no matter what. So I nibbled about all, all afternoon, but like, and I was given lunch and I nibbled about, but I'm just like a bit like, where's my dinner? <laughs> so I need to eat that um, yeah so <laughs> um, I'm gonna go do that but I don't know if I'll go to sleep I kind of want to cry like it's it's that terrifying to go to sleep right now so anyways um, I will catch you later please leave comments below or message me or anything um, if you know what I'm talking about, if you have questions, if you have comments, um, yeah, just, I understand if you, like I've mentioned in my last video, I think, or the video before that, just like, um, 
if you don't feel comfortable, I completely understand that. Like, I understand that. Um, but I do hope that this page channel will become a community where we can talk and discuss and support. So um, I completely understand if that needs to be private or not at all. Like, I totally understand that. But hopefully over time, um, yeah, comfortability will be built, trust will be built, and a community can be built. So anyways, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!